Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and hope you're all having a great time. Today, we're going to take you through some new exciting news from SpaceX. Now, let's delve into the exciting process surrounding Starship Flight Test 2. Amidst the bustling atmosphere at the Starbase facility, SpaceX is gearing up for an exciting milestone, the eagerly anticipated Integrated Flight Test 2, or IFT-2. It's been an impressive journey since the day Ship 20 was fully stacked, and now, after 671 days, the final Starship in the 20 series has been successfully assembled. The progress is remarkable and speaks volumes about the dedication and expertise of the SpaceX team. In recent days, there have been significant activity surrounding the nose cones of Ship 30, 31, 32, and 33. The majority of these nose cones have been relocated from Tent 3, signaling a potential phase of disassembly. However, the specific details of this process are yet to be revealed. It's an intriguing development that keeps us all eagerly awaiting the next steps. Other notable advancements include the movement of S-25 to suborbital Pad B, the installation of the left aft flap on S-28, and the successful shifting and stacking of the mid-locks and aft section for S-29. In fact, the high bay now proudly showcases the fully stacked Starship 29 prototype, which underwent its final and major weld recently. This marks a significant milestone in the Starship assembly process. As we said, Ship 25 continues to hold its position on suborbital pad B, patiently awaiting its next venture. However, the recent development is cause for excitement. Just this week, it was finally unhooked from the SpaceX crane. This significant milestone indicates that all the internal tank work has been successfully completed, marking a crucial step forward for the epic static fire campaign. Meanwhile, the Star Factory extension witnessed the installation of the left forward flap for S-30, while the nose cone for S-31 was temporarily moved back into the tent. In the realm of boosters, significant developments have also taken place. B-10 was moved to the rocket garden, and grid fins were successfully installed on B-11. The stacking process continued with forward tank number 3 and number 4, with the latter being confirmed and stacked with the CH-4 tank. The completion of Booster 11's assembly was a remarkable sight in Mega Bay. Furthermore, a section of Booster 12 was observed being stacked, further highlighting the continuous progress in booster production. Amidst the ongoing assembly of the water deluge system, the progress continues to be smooth and optimistic. More pipes, including a Y-shaped piece, have been successfully moved into place. Underneath the orbital launch mount, a concrete pump has been tirelessly pouring concrete directly onto the pilings. This process aims to create a mud slab, a thin layer of concrete without reinforcements. The purpose of the slab is to provide convenient access for the workers during the construction of the rebar foundation. It's a well-thought-out approach that ensures efficient progress. Notably, two more tanks arrived at the Starbase, symbolizing the ongoing growth and expansion of facilities to support future missions. These are exciting times for SpaceX, with significant developments happening on both the Starship and booster fronts. As we look ahead, there are indications of possible road closures on June 14th, hinting at something momentous on the horizon. Speculation abounds, and the anticipation builds for the potential breakthroughs that lie ahead. Furthermore, the recent communication license granted by the FCC for the second orbital demo flight adds to the optimism surrounding SpaceX's future endeavors. This milestone signifies the continued support and recognition that SpaceX receives for its groundbreaking initiatives. With each passing day, the Starbase facility hums with activity, bringing us closer to the realization of SpaceX's ambitious vision. The progress made in assembling the Starships and boosters is truly amazing. As we eagerly anticipate the upcoming milestones and achievements, it's evident that the future of space exploration is being shaped right before our eyes. 
But on the other hand, NASA is not as optimistic about Starship as we are. NASA's ambitious plan to utilize SpaceX's impressive Starship vehicle as the crewed lunar lander for the Artemis program might face delays, according to recent concerns expressed by the agency. In 2021, NASA selected Starship, an incredibly powerful rocket and the largest ever built for its moon exploration endeavors. However, it's now uncertain whether Starship will be ready to transport astronauts to the moon's surface as initially planned for late 2025. Artemis III, the mission targeted to put astronauts near the ice-rich lunar South Pole, was scheduled for a December 2025 launch. But given the challenges that SpaceX has encountered, this timeline seems increasingly unlikely, according to Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development. During a recent joint meeting, he expressed concern about the difficulties SpaceX has faced, suggesting that the December 2025 date may need to be pushed back to 2026. The exact time frame for Starship's next flight remains uncertain, as several prerequisites need to be fulfilled first. One such requirement involves the ongoing investigation by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, into a launch mishap with SpaceX's cooperation. Additionally, environmental groups have filed a lawsuit against the FAA, asserting that the potential ecological damage caused by Starship launches was inadequately assessed. A swift return to flight is crucial for Artemis III to have any chance of meeting the original 2025 target. SpaceX needs to undertake numerous Starship launches before the vehicle can transport Artemis astronauts. For example, each Starship heading to the moon must be fueled in Earth's orbit by several other Starship tanker vehicles. Furthermore, an uncrewed Starship mission to the lunar surface and back is planned ahead of Artemis III to demonstrate the craft's safety and readiness for crewed flights. Considering the various launches required for depot construction, demonstration purposes, and general flight readiness, the significant number of upcoming launches raises concerns about the viability of the December 2025 timeline, as Free highlighted. The Artemis program aims to establish a sustainable human presence on and around the moon by the late 2020s. NASA believed that achieving this objective will provide invaluable skills and knowledge for future crewed missions to Mars, potentially in the late 2030s or early 2040s. To date, only one Artemis mission has been successfully launched, Artemis 1, which sent an uncrewed Orion capsule to lunar orbit and back in the fall of last year. Artemis II is scheduled to launch astronauts around the moon in late 2024, employing both Orion and NASA's space launch system Megarocket. Both Orion and SLS will also play a role in Artemis III, carrying four astronauts into space. Two of them will then transfer to Starship for voyage to the lunar surface and back. It's worth noting that Starship is not the sole private vehicle chosen by NASA for crewed moon landings. Last month, the agency announced its selection of Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos's spaceflight company, to provide a second human landing system for the Artemis program. And that's all for now. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button to motivate us. Let us know your thoughts and opinions about Starship and SpaceX in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Thanks for joining us on this journey.